When you first open Edge Animate, you'll be seeing this splash screen here. Now from the splash screen, you can open a file, create a new file, create a file from a template, or even open a recent file. I simply click on interface.html, and this is the document that I've created just to talk about all the different things you're gonna see when you first go into Edge Animate. Now, one of the first things you'll notice is our properties area here, and properties changes depending on what you select with your cursor. For instance, this is just looking at the stage at this point, if I select one of the elements, it changes. This white area is referred to as the stage. So any animations or buttons or any type of interactivity we create, this is where the end user will be seeing it. We also have our tools. So we have selection, transform, clipping, and we have our different shape tools as well as the text tool. Down here we have our timeline. So we can move back and forth, moving our playhead, and this is also where our different elements are gonna be placed. We also have our elements window, and this is pretty much how you can control the stacking order of the different elements that are on the stage. We also have our library, and you have images, symbols, fonts, audio, as well as scripts. And last but not least, we also have several code windows. Now we have code that we can access for the timeline, as well as for each element. And last but not least, we also have a main code window that we can see almost anything depending on what we select. So there's a basic overview of pretty much the entire Edge Animate interface, and we'll be covering each one of these individually.